Good morning, New York City. Very, very boring day here in Europe. I at least hope it is a sunny and beautiful New York City morning in the middle of May. One of the best months in New York, no doubt about it. Let's talk FX for a little bit here. Uh, commodity currencies paid this morning. All of them are higher. Kiwis coming into this interesting area. Yesterday's high was 81.5. Today we printed 82. Right there, 81.2. Um, market short Kiwi. This could this could float higher. Uh, don't know why it would. The story isn't um, super intuitive, but. You know, if you've got your longs in place now, just chuck your stop at break even and and uh, let the let the trade winds flow. One of the titles of my uh, my favorite trading books. Let's let the market do what it needs to do um, on these commodities. Quickly on the dollar CAD, uh, we are going to have to uh, trim any dollar CAD shorts down. We have two and a half hours until CAD employment. This can be quite wild. Most of you know that. Just a gentle reminder. Um, a lot of guys are, you know, the, the Canadian banks that I speak to are expecting kind of plus 15, pretty steady as expected, but the release on this is it can be very volatile, so just be careful uh, with your CAD positioning and, and um, manage your Aussie and Kiwi accordingly. Uh, back to our old friend Dollar Swiss. Huge amount of selling at 1.00 yesterday. Bounced. With no apparent size on the bid, it just held kind of like a rock. Now second time down there, with this triple top in play, as uh, my American colleagues pointed out, there's going to be a lot of people who are looking at this as a neckline now. Uh, specifically, uh, 99, 95, 94 area. If you look at the one hour moving average, this is 200 hours. This comes in at 1001. We're at 0506 now. I realize it's only 5 minutes to 6 a.m. in New York. Hopefully you guys don't miss this. Uh, looks pretty compelling, even though I hate Dollar Swiss, as you all know. This now looks uh, relatively compelling as some sort of follow-through on dollar weakness. Um, so... Give it a look on the dollar Swiss. 0506 now. We'll see. Low in dollar yen overnight's 19. We've been sort of hanging in here at uh, 109.25 low. We're at 109.30. Generally very quiet. Let's not get overly excited about anything today because it's incredibly quiet so far. But dollar Swiss looks better if dollar yen is through 20. If do if euro dollar is through 50. The usual usual rules are in play here. Um, we're certainly not marrying any of this, especially because it's very counter trend with this big dollar up move. But it needs to be pointed out, and you need to look both ways. So see what happens. Equities have done nothing. Three handle, three handle range in Europe. Um, and as you can see from the rest of these percentage moves here, we're talking like 15 basis points. Um, very, very quiet. And it looks like it may continue to be quiet until the employment numbers out of Canada. And then we'll have to see what the stock market does. Considering all of the uh, lunacy going on in Syria right now with Israel doing their stupid dance, um, we might see some uh, 
risk being taken off the table here on a Friday going into the weekend. So keep an eye out for that. That may uh, that may move cross yen lower or dollar yen lower or just S and P's lower. But we don't have a dog in that fight right now. We're just kind of keeping an eye on uh, how things go, and we'll see what happens at 9:30 Eastern time for uh, the NYSE Open. Not much else to say out there, guys. Um, quick note on our little book club for the New Yorkers. We started this little book challenge. We're going to try and read 52 books in 52 weeks. The first book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I believe the author is Mark Manson. Not Charles Manson, Mark Manson. Uh, we're going to read that book this week and comment about it on Twitter. And we just want to get back into the habit of reading more books. This is just better for all of our lives. And so we're using this social media pressure to get back on uh, on the book bandwagon. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, wish you a good session and a good weekend. I will see you Monday at the Open. Ciao.